I'll be interviewing you. So first question is, what is your name? Name is Albert Sullivan. Okay. Where were you born? I was born in Hearst, Ontario. What's your family name? Uh, Sullivan. Sullivan. Yeah. Where do you live right now? I live right here in the community, Constance Lake. Who's uh? If what's your, who's your family members? Who oh, I have uh, two. I, my daughter and my grandson. And my wife is deceased, gone. A personal story from your experience in the community. Okay. Uh, I see uh, a lot. Uh, when I was growing up, I see, uh, we did all kind of sports in the community. That was before, uh, uh, I guess, the internet, uh, all that stuff. And uh, today I don't see uh, youth get involved in sports in the community. Hockey is good, and uh, baseball once in a while, maybe more more active. Yeah. What is important for the community? I think uh, we need to uh, get the uh, youth and uh, more involved with education and uh, recreation. Do we need to build an arena? People are asking for arena a long time, and. Uh, Back about five years ago, my aunt passed away, and uh, she called me over to the hospital, and she asked me to go downstairs where the whole age home is. She said, go have a look around and talk to the nurse what's going on down there. So I went downstairs and talked to the head nurse, and uh, she showed me around the whole age home. I said, we need in the community a whole age home for our old, old folks. And most of them are in Hearst at the hospital there. They just sit there. and. Uh, I go see them and they all say that uh, everybody's French here and uh, can't get no radio, like Bawati radio. So I'm trying to promote that stuff to Bawati, at least to go to Hearst. And uh, yeah, that's about it. What advice can you give youth today regarding education and preserving our culture at the same time? Uh, yeah, I think the youth, they have to stay in school, finish their high school, and then go on to college and university. That's very important for the community. There are, there are future leaders. And the culture, try to learn that uh, culture at the same time. Because uh, the kids, we don't, I don't hear kids talk Cree or Ichikori in the community. But they just speak what they learn in school here. The school is trying to promote the, the Cree language. We need more of that, especially, uh, and the kids need to stay in school. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And we're done. Thank you. Thank you very much.